Hi guys, wow, it's good to, to have you. I feel so blessed that you have, we are actually joining. And thank God that uh, as we have just come live on our first Let's Talk About It, you know, show, program, what do you want to call it? Anything you want to call it, just call it. But as Let's Talk About It. So it's a great blessing to actually have you here and uh, I would like you to actually do something very important before we continue. You know, I want you to share with your friends, share with everybody you know, tag some people that you know that Charlie, there is this program, let's talk about it and it's on, on, on and it's live. Share the link, you know, flash somebody. I want some thumbs up, I want some likes, you know, I can't see much likes, I can't see thumbs up, it doesn't mean you have not joined yet, no, 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 I want to see likes, thumbs up, you know, so that everybody can actually be encouraged and be involved in this short time that we have in God's presence, do you believe that, you know, God is here, I believe that God is here, and I know that, you know, our lives, my life and your life, you know, would never be the same. So I'm so, 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 so excited. You know, a lot of times uh, when I say that I'm so, so, so excited, you know, I'll hear uh, my wife saying that, oh, but you don't, you say you're excited, but you don't look excited. You know, but yeah, yeah, I'm excited. This is how I am when I'm excited. Yeah, this is me, you know. But yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm excited that you are here. I'm excited that we have joined and I'm excited that you are actually sharing. You are sharing the link. Yeah, we are sharing the link. Keep sharing, keep sharing. It's working. I'm just waiting for, for some people to, to come online. Call your friends. Tell them that, yeah, we are on. We are on and we are ready. You know, we are ready. Pastor Sanel is ready. You know, our guest all the way from Sabia. Just having a chit chat with him. I'm sure in a few minutes. I uh, will jump on it, you know, but I want you to keep calling your friends, you know, keep, you know, sharing it on your uh, 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 stories that, you know, we are alive, we are alive by the grace of God. But before we continue, before we talk to Pastor Sanel in the next few minutes, you know, our topic, you know, or the title of this segment is, why are you still alive? You know, why are you still alive? You know, because I, I think it's a question that I've been asking myself because, you know, recently uh, I saw online that, you know, one of, I can't say my friend, but, you know, people, uh, somebody that I know, you know, actually passed away. And I was looking at his life, I was looking at my life, and I was comparing. I was like, what's the difference you know why 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 is it that this brother you know has just gone out of this world just like that you know but there, there are many reasons which I, I don't want to really go into it in a certain way you know but i think that i'm alive for a purpose yeah i think that i'm alive for a purpose let's read the scripture before you tell me that, oh, you know, we didn't read a scripture. What are you talking about? And so on and so forth. You know. So let's check um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. I'm reading. Are you ready? Is your Bible open? Okay, great. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. You know, it's like my life has a meaning or a purpose. There is some good works that I am actually supposed to be involved in there are some good works that i'm supposed to do you know as brian 
as as i'm living as i'm breathing you know it's not only getting married having children you know um eating a nice restaurant you know doing all these different different things you know but i'm alive for a reason yeah i'm alive for a reason i'm alive for a purpose i'm alive for a purpose but i want us to look at uh what there is a different version but it's the same uh tpt ephesians chapter 2 but before before i read are you sharing are you sharing are you sharing the link no 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 i, I don't i i don't because i don't see a lot of you here and i'm actually expecting many 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 people to join yeah so keep sharing keep sharing and remind people on whatsapp remind flash them you know let it flow let it flow yeah yeah let it flow as i'm reading ephesians ephesians chapter 2 Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 the tbt translation we have become his poetry recreated people a recreated people that will fulfill the destiny he has given each of us for we are joined to jesus the anointed one even before we were born god planned in advance our destiny and the good works we will do to fulfill it wow what a blessing what a what a what a what a what a great blessing you know god has planned you know our work god planned our work everybody has a work everybody has a work not not the work you are doing not the work you are doing thank god that you are a lawyer thank god that you are a doctor thank god that they are doing all these other works you know but there is a good work good work created for you good work in god this good work is only found after you know the recreation that's what the the you know the the translation say after the recreation after christ as in you that's where the good works you know are found you know that's why the scripture say that, says that we are saved and called. Yeah, we are saved and called. We are not only saved, but we are saved and then called unto good works. Unto good works. So, I feel that that's why I'm alive. And I have, I, I, have, I, I also, you know, feel that that's why you are alive. Because there's a purpose for your life. There is a calling on your life there is something that you have to do you have to fulfill the call of god on your life you have to fulfill it you have to fulfill it because everything else doesn't count yeah you can't get to heaven and say oh i have a phd you know i i have a phd oh no 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 i was i actually had a lot of money you know i actually had a lot of money if you're a lot of money is in combination with the call of god on your life then great because it means that you are called to be a supporter and a helper in the kingdom of god to, to move the work of god to another level to a new realm there yeah, with the monies and everything that god has given you you know but there's a difference when it's like you have all this money you know you don't even know what to do with it do you see and you are just doing useless things that will never be recognized when you get to heaven never be recognized when you get to heaven so i think that that's why i'm alive and i feel that that's why you are also alive because there's a purpose on your life you have to believe it yeah you you have to, you have to believe it you got to believe it. Yeah. It's important that you believe. If you don't believe these things, if you don't believe these things, you'll be surprised that when you get to heaven and it's, it's mentioned to you, you will wish that, oh, I really wish that I believed. 
I really wished I, I took this a bit serious. Yeah, I wish I took it just, just a little bit serious. Just a little bit serious. You get it? Yeah. So, we are jumping in with Pastor Sana. But before, before we jump in, before we jump in, let's take an offering. Let's take an offering. I want, I, I, I would like you especially, you know, to support the Flow Church and support all these things, all these things that we are doing, you know, streaming, there's, it all involves a lot of things that you will never, never really imagine. So I would like you to actually support and give a good offering, not just an offering, but a good offering. It's important that you give a good offering. Yeah, yeah. So keep giving. You'll see the details uh, on the screen in a second. And if we are out of outside of Ghana, use the international. And then also, if we are here in Ghana, you should use you know the, the our local details, mobile money. You can also use you know a bank and a bank transfer to transfer. Yeah, we are also allowed to do that but give a good offering please give a good offering it's it's a good thing to to give it's a good thing to give you you got to understand that the world that we live in is governed by different laws yeah governed by different laws you cannot reap money or you cannot you know receive money or reap money without sowing money as much as you can reap bananas that you didn't sow, it's the same thing. You know, you have to believe that I have to give, give money so that you reap money. Yeah, that 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 that's what governs the world. Yeah, you might not like it, but that this is it. But it's it's, it's what you give, it's what you reap. Yeah. yeah, there's there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, it's what actually governs the earth that we are in so keep giving keep giving are, are you giving are you giving I, if you are giving please put uh on the comment section put lift up your hands with this the, the sign that lifts up your hands i would know that you are actually giving you are giving an offering yeah I'm, I'm i'm looking at it i'm looking at it i want to see the sign i want to be assured that people are actually giving an offering We are jumping in with Pastor Sanel just to have a chit chat with him. He's all the way uh, in Serbia, uh, Bosnia, and uh, he's he's been he's he's quite a, a good pastor. He's been a missionary there for some uh, few years, and also he has been to Macedonia and so on and so forth. But yeah, he's a he's a great pastor, and I think we'll have a good time. Small chat with him, uh, continuing also on the call. On the call what does he think about the call and so on and so forth so yeah pastor Sanel is here great wow pastor Sanel, it's, it's, it's good to have you here and it's such a blessing you know to have you join us you know all the way from uh Serbia. we are really honored that you are here uh without wasting time uh, i would like to actually for you to introduce yourself you uh, introduce yourself and after we continue okay my name is sandal i came from bosnia and uh, i'm missionary in uh, serbia for the eight years right now and um uh, yeah i'm 38 years old and uh, i have a wife her name is Sonia, and I have a child. Wow. Uh, he's three years old. His name is Joshua. Wow. 
that's 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 a great blessing pastoring in bosnia serbia isn't it yes wow in great. serbia also and i was in macedonia for the two years yeah mission trips so yeah wow it's a great blessing it's, it's good to have you uh on let's talk about it you know Pastor Daniel, just to jump right on it, you know, I feel that a lot of uh, Christians or the recent Christians actually, you know, have a number of questions. And some of the questions are more on the call of God. It's like they, they really can't believe that, you know, they are also called. They feel that the calling of God is only for, you know, pastors or for fewer people. Yeah, only few people are actually called, you know. So you find out that you have a Christian who's just at home. The person, yes, is saved and the person goes to church. But that's, that, that's just about it. You know, that's just about it. That's, you know, they are doing. So I just wanted to ask you or just to ask you, you know, because I have some few questions with me. And, uh, you know, during the week, I asked some few people, you know, that what are some of the things that they think it bothers them as Christian or some of the things that they will actually ask you know, pastors that they have not really asked. So the number one question, you know, somebody said that, you know, if you believe you are going to heaven, why not just kill yourself and go to heaven right now? Like, what's the reason why we are still alive? If there is heaven and we say heaven is so great, you know, there is streets of gold, there is everything in heaven. Why don't we just kill ourselves now and die and go to heaven? Because the world is full of wickedness. You know, so much wickedness in this world. So why are we still around? Why? Because we realize that people are even, you know, they don't want to die. They want to live and live. And why do you want to live and live in this wicked world? Yeah, the reason... Because God uh, have a purpose for our lives, and um, you know, to make murder is a uh, it's a uh, it's a sin. Yeah. And uh, the reason why we should uh, be the holy, because uh, if we see in the beginning uh, of the Bible uh, in Leviticus uh, book, we see that God is holy, and He say, "Be holy," and that means that we are separate from the world. We live in the world, but uh, we live separate from this world. So. And Jesus also said to us that we need to be holy and we need to follow him. And uh, of course, uh, there is a life, life after our death. But uh, God wants to use our word to, to people can be saved too, because uh, the gospel is not just for me. It's not just for, for several people, it's for everybody. And uh, if we see the prophet Elijah, also, we see he wanted he ran away uh, and uh, he he was in the pressure in the in the, in the moment he wanted to die at that uh, time. But uh, God uh, bring him also the source of the life and that he can continue. And he is our power. And this is reason why I cannot stop. You know, until my end of my life. You know, God called us to speak. Because the word is powerful, and uh, the also if we see in Jacob, he say the tongue is a powerful tool, and uh, God want to use the word, and this word needs to be preached uh, all over the world. So this is reason why we should not kill ourselves because God want to use us. Uh, maybe uh, in uh, as I know some Christians who died because of the faith, but uh, that's a uh, approach but uh, why should we should kill ourselves because we we are uh, children of God and we know our destination is heaven and so uh, if we make a sin and live in the sin life 
and we don't uh, show our fruits uh, uh, of the spirit and uh, we we are not focused on other because if we love God we should love also people even they hate us even they curse us even people uh, is against us so this is reason why we should continue it's not easy sometimes and that uh, and the goal is that our destination is heaven uh, but uh, we cannot control our life because our li- the control have jesus uh, and holy spirit he leads us and he change our lives and this is reason why we need not not to live our life because paul say also i don't live anymore the christ live inside me so uh, that's a point that we are not the uh, ruler of our, our heart if we are a ruler and follow our heart we will go is that but if we follow jesus and allow him to shape our lives and in, uh, in the spirit so we we, we can continue we, we get power we have sources that we can preach the gospel that we can even stop you know sometimes like fleshly I, i'm also tired but the holy spirit and the jesus and the word of god give me the pleasure that i can be focused on christ and focus on the people that they can also reach the gospel because the jesus is come that nobody uh, uh like in john 3 16 you know that he loved us that uh, he gave his beloved son for us that nobody uh die but have eternal life wow wow that's 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 that's, that's, that's powerful and uh as 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 quite clear you know and i i feel that you know a lot of us or a lot of uh christians you know really really have to believe like when the bible says that many are called you know at few are chosen like we really have to believe yes. that you know many many of us are called you know sometimes and i feel that also one of the things that uh stops people from believing in their call is the fact that they feel that the only call you can have is the call to preach is the call to be a pastor but you know when you look yes. at the bible there are different different calls you know people were called in different ways you know so you may necessarily not be a preacher or a pastor you know but you still be called in the kingdom of god and it's very very important for us to to actually find out what is my calling what am i called for and what am i called at what is it that because you know one of the things that happens is that uh, my pastor always says that anything that you find easy to do or anything that comes natural to you you know many of times that particular thing is like a type of calling that you can use in the house of god you know that you don't just only come on sunday you know sit down warm the pews enjoy the word of god and then it's like we are we are we are we are done with god but it's like there is an opportunity for you you know as a believer you know to also be part you know and and work in the kingdom and work for god because actually at the end of the day that's the only work that is recognized yeah at the, the day that's the only work that the work that has a god factor in it is like your work has a god we are working for god you know your boss is god you know your pay comes from god yeah it's like everything about you you know you know it's 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 true god so i think it, it, it's 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 very powerful it's very powerful i have a second question and uh, i'm sure we'll not spend so much time here um i have a second question you know it's it's similar to the first question but this person is saying that you know every human being has 
that you know is born at the end of the day they will die so what's the point of our existence in terms of you know you see people going out you know working hard getting fighting to get a car fighting to get a house fighting to acquire this and that and that and that and that and so on and then you realize that at the end of the day you leave all these things here on earth you know so what wh how can we how can we get you know a kind of uh a, a hope or how can we you know like why why really really are we existing because all these things that we are fighting for all these things that we are trying to get we end up living here on earth i don't know if you 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 have something that you can say about about that yeah, uh, if I see it through old Bible, you know, mm. I, I I can see the hope in every book, and uh, each book is very, um, how say, encouraging me uh, because you know, when we see the sky, when we see the nature, when we see the the sun, the moon, everything God is cre created for us, that we can, if we see um, God created um, everything for Adam and Eve. And uh, it was everything perfect, and uh, he gave them purpose to to and give the, uh, them the task to to look around uh, everything, and then God also t uh, tell Adam to to name all animals, give him that he can rule e over everything. But uh, the truth is, we cannot uh, rule under everything without God. And uh, God is the one who can lead us uh, in good position, in good way that we can uh, learn uh, from him. And this is how we learn from the beginning of the book till the revelation. Uh, we see how God want, wanted us uh, and that we know that we are born with purpose to see who is our God. And Bible say he's almighty God. That is uh, wonderful because uh, that he's a powerful God. He's El Shaddai. He's uh, uh, Yahweh. He's the one who he is. And uh, he said he, he became the flesh. And that's uh, also a hope for us because the blood is the one. When we see Adam and Eve when they make a sin in the third chapter, we see that uh, they realize that uh, they are naked. But God makes first sacrifice. And this is the goal for us because the blood is the one who cover um, uh, our sins, you know, and that, that, we, uh, uh, that we are not under the death anymore. And that's the, the main hope. We are born to, to meet God. We can or reject God or we can meet the real God who is a, a creator. And uh, in all Bible, we see that uh, he is the one who is uh, merciful. He, he is the one who shared the love to us. He is the one who is savior. savior. He is the one who is uh, our king. And if we see in the Old Testament, the Moses, where, everywhere where he go, God give him instruction, you know, how to build one city. And then we see that they need to have a king. They need to have a, a law. They need to have a, a prophet. And everything God fulfilled uh, in Jesus. And then we see how he uh, revealed his, himself, you know, that he will become flesh. And that's the only hope we have right now is Jesus. And there is no other name with who we can be saved except Jesus Christ. Wow. And that's the only source we are born to uh, to know who is our creator and who is our God. This is reason why we are, if we read the uh, Psalms, you, you, we will see the heart of David. God loved his heart because he's searching for God. And, uh, you know, uh, he's uh, reaching to God. He speak to him. He, he wants uh, to be close to him. And if you love some someone and uh, if you really... Uh, focus on uh, on God like David, you know, God will, will reveal himself to us that we can really enjoy 
that we can have a peace, not peace around us, not peace um, in some people, uh, uh, but peace in, in our hearts. Wow. And that's the main, that we have a peace with God and uh, peace in our hearts. Our body, flesh, is nothing, but God look into our, our hearts. Wow. People look on the uh, material things. Wow. But uh, God wants us to learn how to look spiritual. First Adam is the is the flesh, and the second Adam is Jesus, and he is the spirit who enter in our heart. Wow. This is the hope for us, that we have a spirit inside who will bring us uh, to his father. Wow, 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 wow. That's, that's, that's quite powerful. That's quite powerful. You know, be, before we close, you know, I just uh we'll ask one question one last question and we can uh close it up and i'm sure you can give us like a kind of summary of you know what you know you 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 think when you look at your church you know what are the things that you know in terms of the believers that you are leading you know lack and what is it that you think can actually help as people are watching right now, you know, as they are watching, what also can help them, you know, but before we get to that summary, uh, you know, somebody asked that, why do people um, live long? You know, why, 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 because there are some people who just die from birth. There are some people who die early. So what causes people to actual, actually live long you know and i felt like that 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 was a, a powerful question so because i have you i know that this type of questions you you answer them easily by the grace <laughs> yes it's a grace from god and uh, you know uh why some people live longer why some people uh, live um like um like jesus he he didn't live long you know sometimes you know everything uh, in is in god's hands you know and uh we, we can we can say that the people who are close to god you know uh they will have a fight but um some people will live longer because they focus on the god you know and they focus on their flesh because in first corinthians paul say the heart is the the, our uh, temple you know and when we clear our temple we also look on our body we also look um, you know uh, on our uh, flesh uh, how we have a clear spirit inside us is also we need to live um, healthy life and uh, but healthy life is art and this is our uh, fruit and this is our food spiritual food and uh, God is creator, he gives the life and he take. And this is all what we know and uh, everybody will die. But uh, the point is, uh, you know, if you know who is your God, it doesn't matter how long I will live, you know, because I know where I go. But it's sad when some sometimes people die without God. That's the point, you know. Uh, it's not about how long I will live in this life, but it's uh, it's about did I meet Jesus? Wow. That's the point. Wow. Jesus is the one who he said that I am the uh, I am the breath of the life. You know, he gives the life. Yeah. And that's the point. You you uh, like I told before, we are born to 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 know God. Yeah. But if we don't know God and reject Him, that's sad. But the point is, the, the border is, this is God, and this, you cannot sit in two chairs. Or you are with God, or without God. And so, the one point is, it doesn't matter how long you will live. It is about, did you meet Jesus? Wow. And when we go, uh, in the last days, uh, Jesus will not tell, ask us, uh, how you live your life? Did you have money? Did you do this? Did you do that? Did you know? 
the God will look where Jesus in our heart. Wow. Wow. It's mercy. And when God look to me now, he don't look who am I? He look Jesus inside me. That's the life. Wow. That's that's such a powerful answer. When God looks at me right now, he's not looking at my car. He's not looking at my house. He's not looking at my children. He's not looking at any my uh, PhD. He's not looking at that oh I actually work, you know, as a CEO of this company and that company, you know, but he's looking at Jesus in my heart. Wow, what a great blessing. Amen. What a great blessing. I yes. feel I feel blessed. I feel blessed that you know, I can come to him as I am, you know. I I, I don't need to have money. I don't need to have uh, a house. I don't need to have all these things, you know, to come to him, you know, to come to him. I don't need anything else. You know, it's it's, it's such a blessing and a great 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 opportunity. you know for everyone yeah it's not it's not for some people but for everybody it's it's a great blessing pastor sanela i just want you to say an encouraging word uh, to all of us or everybody who's watching right now you know as we we close and uh, this chit chat with you but i'm sure we'll catch up again one one, one uh, at ahead of you know the days ahead i'm sure we'll, we'll catch up here and there But yeah, let's just do um a, a quick summary or you know, a word, a quick word or a powerful word to our viewers. Yes, I would like to uh share with you uh uh the Mark the, the gospel of Mark uh, uh chapter 10 uh 45 and um this is really uh wonderful for our lives. and that the, the son of the man he then came to be served and he came to be served and to give his life for many you know and this is the main point you know everybody have a purpose when you meet the god and we are servants we equipped the servant and um of jesus in inside in our hearts and everybody can our called to to be uh preachers to speak the gospel wherever you are at your work uh at schools uh, everywhere where you are god is there and um he want to use your word he want to use your testimony what god did in your lives and uh, in matthew 28 jesus say that they go and make disciples and teach them but they i commend uh to you and he commit comment us also that we continue preach even sometimes people reject us god call us to be the servant and we are until our life is finished we are called to be servant we are called to look on jesus we will not be perfect like i say uh, god don't look on me he look jesus inside me and so he will look also uh Jesus inside you and if you have a Jesus you have love from God because the love is a communication uh between you and God and the love you need to share and God is love wow. and he enter in our heart and he want to share everything what he gave to you in your heart to share to other wow. God bless you amen amen thank you so much pastor Sanel um we'll keep talking by the grace of God but it's good it's good to have you and you know we we'll, we we'll, we'll keep the relationship and the fellowship thank you for always helping thank you for helping with different different ways when we reach out and uh you know in Serbia it's it's it's, it's a great blessing we pray that you know what we are doing in Serbia will multiply grow and be plenteous in Jesus name God will cause you to be plenteous in the name of Jesus thank you very much but we'll keep talking thank you see you yeah bless you okay bye wow guys i think that was
quite, you know, a chitter with Pastor Sana. And, you know, I think one of the points that, you know, I really, I, I still ring in that if, if, if God looks at me, he sees Jesus as, <laughs> as, 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 as great, as, as great. If God looks at me, he sees Jesus. He doesn't see all these are all the things that we are involved in, you know, in the work of God, you know, as, as true Jesus. So he sees he, all the things are buried in Jesus. Wow. That's why I think that that's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, Jesus was saying that, you know, uh, if he doesn't have a relationship with you, you know, all these things, if, you do, if, if you, he don't, doesn't really know you, all this work and all these things that you are doing, da, 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 on his behalf, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter or it's like it's vain or it's kind of useless, you know. It makes sense that, you know, all our uh, work should be in him and the relationship that we have in him. So when God looks at us, doesn't see our work, doesn't see even the works that we are claiming to do, you know, uh, in his kingdom, but sees more of Jesus and then buried all the things that we are involved, you know, in through Jesus. It's, 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 it's such a, a great blessing. It's such a great blessing. It's such a great blessing. I'm, I'm so blessed and I'm hoping that you are also blessed. We are also really blessed. But what I would like you to do, actually, I would like you to actually send, DM me, you know, your questions. Questions that you have, uh, you know, different, different aspects. Maybe in, on the call of God, maybe on the anointing, maybe on the Holy Spirit, maybe on the work of God, maybe on uh, the leadership Christian leadership, you know, different, different, different aspects uh, where you have questions in. You can actually send your questions and be happy to, to, to answer it. I'm sure um, by the grace of God, almost every week we'll have a different pastor, you know, coming on and then we can ask him or ch chat with him, you know, and ask him some of these questions. So it's great. It's great to have you. But before, before we end, I know that when I was taking an offering earlier on, you had not joined. Yeah. So I want to give you this opportunity. The opportunity to sow a seed. Yeah. To sow a seed. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times, sometimes you realize that the money you have, you can't do much with it. Yeah. Like the money you have can't solve the need that you have. Yeah. It can't solve the need that you have. And I think those type of monies are monies that you have to sow so you can reap fruits from it. Yeah. So I want to give you an opportunity to actually sow a seed. Sow a seed so that you can reap. Yeah. There is no way that you can reap. Once you sow, there must be a reaping. Unless God is not God. Yeah, unless God is not God. I want to give you an opportunity to try God if God is real. Yeah, I want you to try God if God is real. If God can actually come true. Yeah, if God can actually come true for you in a certain way. I want you to take a, a, an offering. I know that the money that you have, the money that you have, there's a, a bigger need. Yeah, there's a bigger need. And you realize that I have these thousand CDs that I can I can actually when you want to pay for a school fees and you have these thousand CDs but you need five thousand CDs you need ten thousand CDs to actually do what you have to do so I want to give you an opportunity and try God and see if God will not show up for you um, I I promise you if if God doesn't show up on your behalf then 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 there is something wrong because for me personally i've tried him so many times and he has always always showed up 
So I want you to also try him. Try him and see if he will not do it for you. I believe it with all my heart that he will really, really do it for you. So sow your seed right now. The details of the offering, they are on the screen. Coming on the screen in the next second, the next second, yeah. So give your offering, sow your seed. It's a good opportunity. It's a good ground to sow your seed in. Otherwise, you have the money, but you also can't solve the need that you have. So rather sow it because the scripture says that, you know, what you sow, you know, by all means, you will rip it. Yeah. By all means, it's guaranteed that you will rip it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you guys for your offering. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you. Thank you for the seeds. Thank you for the seeds. Thank you for the seeds. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you remember your children. I pray that you will do something that they have never seen before. I pray that you will fulfill the scriptures. The scriptures that we can sow. We can sow and be able to reap. I pray that through different, different avenues, you release it back to the children. I can actually read that there's somebody actually who's looking for tenders. We have been looking for government tenders for a long time. I can hear that you can, you can sow actually a seed and it will be released. A tender that we have been waiting for for a long time, it will be released on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So continue sowing your seed. I, I just had tenders, tenders, like government contracts, government contact, contracts that uh, uh, they have been hold, we have applied, we have tried, so we have not got, but it's an opportunity. Sow a seed, sow a seed and just bring it to God and let's see if God will not surprise you. Thank you so much, Lord, for answering prayers. Thank you for multiplying, for making it plenteous. Thank you for bringing this harvest, the fruits, from the east, the south, the west, the north. Thank you for this great blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow, we've come to the end of today's program. And I'm hoping that I'll see you again on the next Let's Talk About It. So keep sending your question. Keep asking your question about any topic, any topic you're interested in. And I'm sure by the grace of God, we'll answer it. We'll be able to answer it by the help of God. We'll see you next time. Stay blessed and helped by God. Blessing. See ya.